What's up everybody? I'm back with you today. It's Chad from Charleston Car Videos as you probably know. But anyways, we got a key to a car today that's going to blow your mind a freaking way, okay? You just wait and see. You already know what it is because you read the title and looked at the thumbnail picture. But <laughs> this car was just purchased day before yesterday. Right boom, right there, the Buick Rendezvous CXL. First off, we had a Buick Rendezvous, not a CXL, up front. Didn't even stay on the lot seven days. It was sold. I didn't get per personally get to sell it, unfortunately, for some god awful reason. People just stopped buying cars from me over the last week since the holiday. So Mr. Chad here has got like one car out, but I'm trying my best to stay positive. So hopefully if some of y'all watching this video will at least ask for me when you come to the store, if you come in to look at this one here or any other car. So stay with us, let's have some fun. Get to smile, kind of feeling a little better because I'm just down and out, down and out. Don't know what I did wrong. Well, I'm not selling cars, I have no clue, but <laughs> it's depressing. everybody let's go ahead and crank it up for the first time ever that's right the first time ever your boy Chad has cranked up a CXL rendezvous first time ever even being in one of these cars and it did the same thing that the other one did when I cranked up the previous rendezvous it took just an itty bitty little itch there before it cranked up just like that one it cranks up just fine but um it did fine okay the only thing going on with this one the mechanic just got done test driving it and checking it out he said the only thing with it is that there's a all-wheel drive light on up here it says all-wheel drive disable um that light is on right now i don't know why it's on but maybe there's a problem with the all-wheel drive system on the car because it again it is all-wheel drive but um he says it still is safe to drive down the road for someone to purchase it okay um, there's no check engine lights there's no service engine soon lights or anything on at this particular moment other than the all-wheel drive and well god have mercy now there's an anti-lock brake light on so now we got two lights within just half a minute anyways let's go ahead and pull this booger out there's those lights we're talking about There's the mileage on the car, 201,559, or 569. So it's got some miles on it. The heater is blowing cold, that's a plus. But let's go ahead and back it out. And let's see if the air conditioner works and all that good stuff. Now from what I was told was that the CXL version of the Buick Rendezvous is a little more uh, dressed up, as in a little more sporty, more luxurious, but also supposedly has third row seats in the back, because the one before did not have third rows, and that was just a regular old rendezvous, and supposedly this one does. So, that's something I'm learning. We're gonna definitely check it out though, because from looking back there right now, I'm not seeing any third row seats, so maybe they're just laying down flat. But anyway, stay with us, let's get out, let's do an overview of the outside, and then we'll hop back in on the inside. All right, everybody, so it is a 2002 Buick Rendezvous CXL. This one's got a uh, interesting color combination. You have like this silverish, tannish color up top and the gray, dark gray color on the bottom. So it's got a two-tone going on. You got the chrome wheels, which probably were styling and profiling back in the early 2000s with your Cooper Adventure HT tires. Also have headlights, blinkers, and there is fog lights down there. They're not cut on, but hey, while we're at it, let's make sure we can get them to cut on because I'm checking everything out on this beast of a car. Let's go ahead and see how those actually cut on. And, uh, well, that's a door light, a fog you push in to cut those on. How about that, man? We're learning something new 
every day. The logo looks nice. Let's get some close-ups here. The mirrors are pretty big, so you definitely be able to see. No puddle lights up under. Well, hold on a minute. Nope, no puddle lights under there, so it's not really a luxury car, okay? That is one way you'll know if a car really is a luxury car, is if it has a puddle light, so your lady, if she's got some pumps on or some heels, can see her pretty little feet hitting the ground before landing on a damn water puddle, okay? That's what they're there for. Anyways, fog lights do work down there, which make the car look even better with the lights on at nighttime. And the car kind of has a Homer Simpson kind of look with the beard. I mean, just look at it. It really does look like it's got a beard with the, how the colors are and everything like that. I mean, I'm kind of seeing a little Homer Simpson going on right in the front of this car here. Anyways, you got your Buick logo there. And then that classic Buick here. I do not know why this is all silver. There needs to be some gold and copper and colors in there to give it more of a kind of medieval look, right? Anyways, if shields had anything to do with cars, I do not know why Buick decided to have three shields. That's a whole other story for another day. Unless you would want to get in the comment section and tell me if you know. Does look like the car had been bumped in the front and a body shop did a horrible job of actually getting this all sealed back up properly. There you go. Okay, you got that. But you do got a nice luster of shine on these tires. It looks like a glazed donut fresh out of Krispy Kreme. Plenty of tread on the tires, which is a benefit. And again, the chrome really does make the car's rims just stand out so much more. Not bad for chrome wheels, you know? So there they are. Those are Mastercrafts over here and a whole different type of rim and tire on the other side. Anyways, we got some paint faded chippage going on up there which is not a deal breaker. Windows look great, rear tinted windows. You also have roof racks up top if you wanna strap a Christmas tree on. And back in the early 2000s, yes, car phones did have antennas. So you could talk on the phone while going down the road. I most likely would take a razor blade and cut that off, but you won't be able to because on the other side is a wire plugging in there, okay? So they, obviously they drilled into the glass. So you'll have to leave that on for its lifetime. Of a vehicle. Wow, the lifetime of this vehicle. Anyways, it did have backup sensors in the back, an exhaust pipe with fumes. It is probably about 42 degrees outside right now, so the fumes are just normal. CXL, tail lights again do have a Japanese Honda Accord look about them, don't they? I mean, come on, guys, give it to me. You remember the Honda Accords back in the 90s? Did they not have a tail light that looked kind of like that, but smaller? Yeah, they did. Anyways, keep on going. Well, you thought this was a handle to open, but it is not working. Look at this. It almost looks like... Now that is really odd. Pull, pull, pull. Nothing going on. I mean, how do you open up the hatch? Very interesting. Versatrack all-wheel drive is right there. We got to get in the back, though. I want to see if this thing's got third-row seats. It is missing the little black piece right here, which you could probably find at a junkyard or salvage yard. Okay? But we got to figure out how to get in the back of this car. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the unlock button and give that a old try. Okay? Let's see if that helps. Is this unlocked? Of course it is. And nope, that's not doing anything for us, okay? So the next step is, is there a trunk button to get in the back of the trunk? Well, I'm not seeing one. I see a hood release, memory seats, power windows. Do the power windows work? Of course they do. Okay, that one's working over there. They make a little squeaking sound going down, but they do work. All windows work. Let's go ahead and just look at the car. The leather interior, wow, is pretty amazing. It's in great shape and actually looks like a really comfortable seat to sit in. And look at that, man. Is that on a nice seat or what, man? No rips, no tears. I mean, it almost looks like a brand new covered seat here, which is probably what's happened because you can tell that this is the original leather here and they have recovered the seat right there. So that's very nice to see. Um, these are notorious for dropping down, but the power seats do work. The pedals down there looking like they're in good shape. Okay, no, not too majorly worn out. The steering wheel's in decent shape. You've already seen all this. Cup holders right well, there's no cup holder there, but there is a power out there and a place to put that old school phone at. Cup holders, cigarette place. It actually has heated seats. 
open this up for more storage down there my god this is getting better as the review keeps going just cheap hard plastics though on the inside and that's what Buick offered you um, let's go ahead and hit this button here that has a trunk icon on it and I just heard the button actually click back there so let's go have a look I hope you're enjoying the review today with us on Charleston Car Videos, one of the best car video review places on YouTube today of used cars. So this, what I'm learning, does not open the hatch. That's just a spot to actually grab it, pull up, and as you can see, the shocks are still working pretty good. <laughs> okay, just making sure it doesn't fall, but they're working still. Um, a lot of room in the back back here, but where's our third row seat, right? Well. Maybe it's under here. Got some oil or power steering fluid. But where is the actual seats? They're right there. Look at that. So, yes, even though it's a little dirty, which we'll get cleaned up when our detail guy gets here, but there's a third row seat back here. And you want to grab it right here. Okay. Let's see if this works. Pull. And wow, freaking we. You got third row seats. Again, I know that looks like SHIT because it's dirty, but it will be cleaned up when our detail guy gets in. But look how clean that third row seat is right there. Man, this is actually a really pretty decent car. And when I tell you the price today, you're going to be like, man, oh man, I'm coming to get the Buick Rendezvous today. And I got a few people I can call on it that may be interested. I'm going to send them this video clip when we're all done. And uh, they may be interested in buying this car from us. So, a lot of people are looking for third row seat vehicles at a cheap cash price. And realistically, folks, it's hard to find a decent car with third rows that's not a minivan for less than three or $4,000. This is probably going to be it. Anyways, there's that. Let's look in the back seats, and then we're going to go out and take it for a test drive. Back seats are in good shape. Plenty of room for the kids. Plenty of room for the babies. Child seats will go in. Nice big armrests. I'm liking that. And they're pretty versatile too. Look at that. Opens that up. Cup holder comes out. I mean, if that's not American Americana, I don't know what is. Okay. Americans just did things kind of odd and weird back in the day like why would they do all that for a cup holder but they do all right let's go for a ride all right everybody let's hop in and hit the streets in our buick rendezvous man i can't wait i'm just so excited to be inside of this car now i want to show y'all something that's actually pretty cool i'm not joking with you here guys i don't know if you can see it or not but look at this right there this car has a HUD system. Heads up display right there. There's the mile per hour. I mean, is that not unique? Where are you going to get a car like this? <laughs> With all these cool features. Let's hit the streets and see how it rides. All right, everybody. Let's see how the Buick Rendezvous rides. If you're still watching, let me go ahead and just tell you the price. <laughs> it's only 2400 dollars twenty four hundred dollars for this car that sounds like a pretty good deal don't it the uh, it drives great I got a customer uh, gonna be pulling in, in about two minutes so I can't take it out on a big ride on the highway but um, for twenty four hundred bucks Wow look at this let's hit the brakes the brakes work you got to push down a little bit more on them though, okay, but um Man, it's got some power under that hood there um, Again, it is it's an all-wheel drive vehicle, but something's going on with the all-wheel drive so we know that and um, Churning's good though the steering feels pretty tight on this car It's not really too bad for $2450 is really what they got on our list is $2450. I say $2400. I won't lose your business over $50. Bucks. 
if this is something you're interested in buying just let me know and uh, I will make you a great deal on it it already is a great deal but if you're coming up here with cash money to buy a car for the family this holiday season this might be the perfect car to have in your driveway to go out with the kids in and go get your Christmas shopping done and all that so not bad at all let's pull it up and look up under the hood real quickly and uh, and then we'll be wrapping things up headlights are working great too as you can see we got we do got a crack or a, a some kind of bullet hole in the windshield but other than that we're okay Got a new battery. That looks new for the radiator cap. Belt sound good. I mean, hey, this is a pretty decent car for the money. So, runs good, sounds good, no crazy sounds going on under there. I could put a warranty on it for you. Not bad. Hit me up, guys. I got to get off the video. Customers just pulled in, but have a great day. We'll see you soon. Like, comment, and subscribe, and come do some business with the Chadster at the Auto Buy Center. We'll see you then. Yeah, I think, I think, I think everybody seems, oh, oh, oh.